All right, guys, with spring being right around the corner, I have already given you guys my top 10 spring designer fragrances. I'll give you my top 10 niche spring uh, choices this year. And now I'm going to give you guys my top 10 affordable spring fragrance choices. So I'm going to go ahead and run the intro. If you want to see what's on the list, you know the routine. Keep it locked right here. The Bowtie Fragrance Guy. All right, guys, we're back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. Let's go ahead and jump right into the list. Uh, coming in at the Tim spot, this fragrance actually comes from the house of Davidoff, and this is Cool Water Aquaman. Cool Water Aquaman. Now, this fragrance is super inexpensive. You can find this in most places for under 20 bucks. And I really love the fragrance because of that it's opening note of green mandarin. It is just, again... For what you're going to pay for it just a very very um kind of fresh fragrance that is really going to be good on a nice hot spring day really crisp um fragrance there you have a little bit of a uh, combination of a uh, kind of peppery uh nuance in the middle as well as some guide wood when it dries down really really nice but i love that green mandarin in the opening that's what really makes this fragrance and i think what which makes it a good fragrance to wear in the spring so check it out man it's really good for what you're going to pay for it. It's from the house of Davidoff, and this is Cool Water Aquaman. All right, guys, the next fragrance on this list is very reminiscent to um, some other more expensive fragrances that I talk about. And it has some similarities to fragrances like Chanel Sycamore, um, French Lover from uh, the house of Frederick Mall. And it also has some resemblance to, some resemblance to Creed Spice and Wood um, as well. It's from the house of Bentley, and this is infinite rush infinite rush just like those fragrances you get this really to make it simple green opening with some nice kind of smoky woods on the dry down you get some vetiver in this some cedar wood again for the price that you're going to pay is it similar to those fragrances that i mentioned is the same quality no but for a fragrance that you can find for under 40 dollars it is really good for this time of year i told you guys Fragrances like vetiver, your mosses, your green notes are really good to wear this time of year. And uh, this fragrance definitely falls into that category. So check it out. It's from the House of Bentley, and this one is called Infinite Rush. All right, guys, the next fragrance on the list comes from the House of Coach, and this is Coach Blue. Coach Blue. Now, is this fragrance kind of generic? Yeah, you know, all those things that you kind of, you know, people may say about a fragrance you can find at this price point. There's nothing really inspiring, but I'm serious. For the springtime, this is a really nice, inexpensive fragrance. Now, again, don't be expecting, you guys can't be expecting, you know, uh, I'm washed quality fragrance for the prices that these fragrances cost. But again, for the price, I really do like this for the springtime, okay? It's got a nice kind of citrusy opening. It's got this fresh uh, kind of ozonic feel to it uh, with some cedar wood on the dry down. That's really what this fragrance is in a nutshell. You know, kind of that typical blue DNA, but it's really good for the summer for the price. From the house of Coach, again, this is called Coach Blue. All right, coming in at the seventh spot, this fragrance actually comes from the house of Mont Blanc, and this is Legend Red. Legend Red, love the bottle. Again, wasn't a fragrance that blew me away when it came out, but again, we're talking about inex inexpensive fragrances that I have in my collection that I think are really good for the spring. Now, this one, you're going to get that nice fresh fruity opening it's blood orange and grapefruit really really nice opening to the fragrance and then on the dry down it gets a little bit sweet here you have some taco beans so on those kind of cool days uh we're talking maybe 70 75 this will be a perfect fragrance to reach for and i really do like the juniper berries in the middle of this you know that kind of astringent thing that you normally get from juniper berries is definitely present here again for the price i like it for the spring from the house of mont blanc this is mont blanc Legend Red. All right, guys. Now, the next fragrance actually comes from the house of Lacoste, and this is called Lacoste Magnetic. Lacoste Magnetic. Now, I've talked about this fragrance before. It kind of, in a way, kind of reminds me a little bit of 
uh, Creed's Green Iris Tweed, not like a clone, maybe kind of inspired by a fragrance a little bit. You get some violin here, you get some tea, uh, and there's a very uh, unique note of bamboo in the opening of this fragrance. Like I said, some notes that are really, really good that play really well in the spring, and that's what this list is all about. So, again, check it out. For the price, I think it's really good for this time of year. Uh, the upcoming spring season is from the house of Lacoste, and this is Lacoste Mag. All right, guys, and coming in next, we actually have another fragrance from the house of, yep, you guessed it, Mont Blanc. I really love Mont Blanc fragrances when you start talking about uh, less expensive or more cost-effective fragrances. I think Mont Blanc, along with Burberry, is really at the top of the list for me. And uh, this fragrance, again, from Mont Blanc is called Presence Cool. Presence Cool, and this is one of those fragrances, guys, you can find these uh, oftentimes. I've seen them in rack stores. I haven't seen them lately. But I have seen them in there. That's actually where I think I got mine from. And this is another fragrance that features a note of bamboo. Uh, and again, that note plays really well in those intermediate seasons, especially uh, the springtime. So you get the bamboo here. And uh, I really love that with the combination of this, uh, this apple note in the opening of the fragrance. Really, really, really nice. It sweetens up a little bit on the dry down with some taco bean. But again, great for this time of year. It's from the house of Mont Blanc, and this is called Presence Cool. All right, guys, now coming in at the fourth spot, this fragrance actually comes from the house of Michael Kors. Yeah, you heard me correctly, Michael Kors. And this fragrance is called Extreme Blue. Extreme Blue. Listen, um, a lot of folks that have talked about this fragrance have really had uh, some good things to say about it. Uh, again, for the price point that you're going to pay, it's just, I mean, it's good. It's good for what you're going to pay for this fragrance. Uh, just like a lot of the fragrances on this list, you um, are going to find these for under, you know, 40 bucks. Most of them you can find for under 40 bucks. I really like this one, man. The standout note here is a note of clary sage. Now, you're not going to find um, uh, this to be the typical blue fragrance, although it says it's green blue. It's definitely, uh, you know, something that's a little bit different. Uh, more of a floral fragrance, actually. Uh, in the heart you have that clary say I think there's some juniper berries in here as well But anyway, it's really good for the price. It's from the house of Michael Kors and again, this is called Extreme blue. All right guys now coming in in the third spot now a lot of people kind of Dismissed this fragrance when it came out, but again, I'm not going into this thinking about You know purchasing a fragrance from this this particular brand or purchasing this fragrance and thinking I'm getting You know a Creed fragrance, but this is from the house of Dunhill and this is Dunhill icon racing blue uh they have a blue they have the red of course the original one that came in the green bottle <sighs> man i really like it but what you're gonna pay for it i really like it it has a nice lime kind of bergamot and lime opening here um definitely has an aquatic feel to it there's like this salty kind of marina cord that's a, and that could be coming from the uh ambroxan that's in this but you get the ambroxan and i really like the fact that a note that I love, Neroli, that uh, you know, that floral uh, vibe that comes in from Neroli is just kicked behind. I really like this one for what you're going to pay for. Seriously, that's why it comes in at the third spot. It's really good to me for what you're going to pay for uh, this fragrance. And again, it's from the house of Dunhill, and this is Icon Racing Blue. All right, guys, now coming in at the number two spot, yes, we're going back to the house of Mont Blanc, and this is Star Walker Extreme. Star, Walk, Star Walker Extreme. This is a fragrance that started popping up in the rack stores last year. A lot of folks didn't even know that this fragrance had been released. And the next first time you see it is in the rack stores. I'm not mad at that because of the price point that I got it for. This is a solid fragrance for the price. What you really get with this is an apple, pineapple. So it's a really fruity, citrusy opening uh, with this fragrance. And then you get you know, some sweetness on the dry down. There's some sandalwood in here as well, some tonka, so it gets creamy and sweet on the dry down. Um, and again, for what you're going to pay for it, which is the theme of the list, this is really, really good for this time of year. So check it out. It's from the house of Mont Blanc. This is Star Walker Extreme. And coming in at the number one spot, I went back to a fragrance that is tried and true. And even though it's inexpensive, it definitely would make my top 25 fragrances in my entire collection because I love it that much. You probably know what it is if you've been following me for any amount of time. It's from the house of Burberry, and it's Burberry Touch. Burberry Touch, a fragrance I will always have in my collection. I can't have 
enough bottles of this. It's just so good. It's good. That's all I can say about it. I've talked about it a lot. So not going into notes and things of that nature, but those of you who have put your nose on this probably know what I'm talking about. It's floral and it is spicy and it is good. So my number one inexpensive spring fragrance this year is one that has always been one of my favorites from the house of Burberry, Burberry Touch. Right, but that's it, guys. That's my time, man. I hope you enjoyed this list today because I gave you some great uh, affordable uh, options to add to your collection this upcoming spring. As always, I sincerely appreciate your time and attention to these videos. I know you don't have to watch, but you do. And I sincerely appreciate that. And don't forget to make sure you take a few moments to go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you're sharing these videos out to some other folks out there that you think could use this information to find it entertaining. Because I'm your guy. Darren, I'm the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I love to look good, and of course, I love to smell amazing. So until next time, guys, keep looking good. Keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side.